hiding. <laughs> Don't you want to see what I look like? <laughs> Alright guys, how's it going? Let's go over this build real quick. Uh, let's get into the gear. Alright, we have five piece Swamp Raider. I went with a sharpened bow, the shot glyph for more damage. And a Swamp Raider Maul, sharpened as well. And the reason why is sometimes when you're on your back bar, when you're moving around all sneaky and stuff, you have poison injection on your target, it's gonna hit them harder significantly harder actually and then for the monster helm uh, just go with something that has either weapon damage or penetration so I went I have Veladrath on this guy uh, Crags will be good too the other set is Red Eagle's Fury and this gives you a lot more like more weapon damage it does have that one drawback to increase your cost of weapon skill abilities by 5% but it doesn't affect cloak so that's kind of a good thing since you're gonna need it in this day and age when it's hardly working here anyway uh, let's see here so all this is gonna be medium and divines jewelry is all infused weapon damage and we have ring of the wild hunt for even more speed all right so that's the gear go over the character sheet um, all right so we got the lover mundus penetration and then try stat food and you want to be vamp stage 2 for the strike from shadows passive okay let's go over the skills since I forgot last time so the front bar we got lethal arrow and I went with lethal arrow because we're using swamp raider and it causes minor defile which is kind of kind of crappy for only four seconds kind of wish they would ex since they nerf the actual defile, they should at least extend the range or the duration. I mean, uh, next we got poison injection. Sorry, execute, and then uh, magnum shot. I swapped this out with um, mass hysteria, but I've been having a lot of fun with magnum shot. And since we have red eagle's fury, it uh, actually does some pretty good damage too. And this slot. It's kind of like a free slot as long as it's something from the assassination line. I have Reaper's Mark because it kind of helps me out when I'm like killing guards and stuff. Or sometimes you can put it on. I don't like to put it on somebody before I hit them because it's kind of like you alerting them that they're about to get hit. And I don't want them to know that they're about to get hit. Um, another good one to put on here is Relentless Focus. I'm just pretty bad with uh, the stamina sustain. Uh, this thing can hit pretty, pretty damn hard. But... That's just uh, that's probably the better option actually. But as long as it's something from the assassination line for the hemorrhage, hemorrhage passive right here. Uh, with the assassination ability slotted, increase your critical damage by 10%. And dealing critical damage grants you and your group members minor savagery. So it's it's a pretty good uh, passive. And then next we have camo hunter for your increased uh, crit chance. This gives you a. Um, passive um, minor, or major savagery and you also get minor berserk if you attack them from the flank and the actual um, detect on here kind of works a lot better now since they increase the ra radius and then we have toxic barrage again f for two reasons one we have swamp raider which increases poison damage and disease damage and red eagles fury all right so that's the front bar we'll go to the back bar I got Sh um, shadowy disguise so you can be sneaky uh, leeching strikes this helps with the uh, stamina sustain and uh, healing a little bit uh, sometimes it's come come down to just that little bit of health channeled acceleration for the speed you need that boost I went with this um, this morph because I like to I like to apply the buff and then not have to worry about it for a little while the other one's pretty good because it allows, you know, has CC breaks and all that stuff, but I just, I end up draining my Magicka with it. And then next we have uh, Rally. This is like our, our only heal. I like living on the edge. So this is our only heal and major brutality, our source of major brutality. Then we have Concealed Weapon. Uh, this is pretty nice because it gives you that additional movement speed while you're invisible. Of course, this is just for the speed factor you can 
swap it out with something else if you don't want to if you don't want to go super fast but I like the speed and actually a lot of times I think you won't even have to apply this buff because I think we're already at the cap and then soul tether uh, I've had more luck with soul tether than temporal guard so I went with this because it's kind of like a heal a damage and, and a CC it's kind of a lot of things in one you can use it for multiple situ situations all right so those are the skills that I forgot to put in the original video and moving on all right and we'll go over the champion points real quick all right so for the blue tree I got backstabber increase your critical damage done by three percent per stage when you flank an enemy and most times if you're shooting at somebody who's riding by or something you're gonna hit them from the flank then we got deadly aim increase your damage done by 10 percent with single target attacks then master at arms increase uh, direct damage by 10 percent and fighting finesse uh, increase your critical damage done by 10 percent and healing I'm still kind of messing around with the champion point stuff, so uh, bear with me on this stuff. In the red tree, I have Thrill of the Hunt for more movement speed. And let's see, we got Celerity. Even more speed. I don't even know what the cap is, but uh, I think we're, we're at the cap or just over it. Uh, Bastion, increase the effectiveness of your damage shields and damage against shielded enemies by 15%. It's pretty useful. And I just threw Buddy Renewal on here just to have a little bit more stamina uh, return since we have horrible stamina regen. Alright, for the green tree, uh, sustaining shadows, reduce cost of sneak by 45%. And the steed, uh, increase your out of combat movement speed by 20%. And then I just have liquid uh, efficiency and rationing just to help with the consumables. Alright, so I'm still messing around with this champion stuff. If you guys have any other better options, just let me know in the comments. But uh, that's that's basically the build, and I'll leave you guys with, with some, some gameplay. See you later. Ooh!